Hi guys, welcome to another day, another question. And today I have a linear programming question for you guys. In LPP, a linear programming problem is defined, suppose it is defined as minimize Z, which is your objective function, uh, 15x1 plus 12x2 subject to x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 3, 2x1 minus 4x2 is less than or equal to 5, x1 and x2, they're greater than or equal to 0. Then the objective function of the dual of this LPP. So what you have, the LPP that you're given is the primal. And we need to find out what will be the dual. Dual of this LPP, is it maximize W, which is Y1 plus Y2? Is it maximize W, which is Y1 plus 2Y2? Is it maximize W, which is equal to 2Y1 minus 4Y2? Is it maximize W, which is 3Y1 plus 5Y2? So you need to recall a bit or on, on you know what is primal and what is dual. So primal is if you're given an LPP, um, that's your primal. And to every primal, that there is a dual. There is a dual. So if the primal is the problem of minimizing certain, you know, there's some objective functions or in, under certain conditions, then dual will be definitely maximizing. Okay. Now, what is the connection? How you figure out? Let's, through this example, do it. So recall, you must write down these points for duality. For every linear programming problem, for every linear programming problem, there exists a related unique LPP involving the same data, which also describe, which that also describes and solve the original problem. In duality, our aim is to find out a transpose matrix of the initial given problem known as primal. If you take everything into consideration, the entire, not just the objective function, but the entire LPP, that is your primal. Dual of the dual will be your original primal because it's like taking transpose of transpose. It is done by transposing row and column and the final solution of both the problems will be the same. So whatever solution you figure out, that will be the same for both dual and primal. Now, I'm not going to create matrix here. I'm just going to give you the answer to what it will be and, and uh, why it is that, how it is that. So just remember, in case, just to, just to you know, uh, sum, sum it up, so you have primal and dual. So suppose your primal is the maximization problem, then dual will be the minimization problem. So in primal, if your ith constraint is less than or equal to, less than or equal to, then the ith variable in the minimization problem will be greater than or equal to. ith constraint in the primal is greater than or equal to of the form greater than or equal to, the ith variable will be less than or equal to zero. Okay. If the ith constraint in the primal is uh, equal to, then that means the ith variable, ith variable is unrestricted. ith variable is unrestricted. And in case jth variable is greater than or equal to zero in the primal, then j constraint is greater than or equal to in the dual. And if it is jth variable is less than or equal to zero in primal, then jth constraint in the dual is less than or equal to, of the form less than or equal to. And in case jth variable is unrestricted, jth constraint is equal to. So in our case, 
wherein the problem is the primal. What is the primal? The primal is minimize Z, which is 15 x1 plus 12 x2 subject to x1 plus 2 x2 less than or equal to 3 2 x1 minus 4 x2 less than or equal to 5 x1 is greater than or equal to 0 x2 is greater than or equal to 0 the dual will be the dual will turn out to be maximize w now you have 3 here 5 here so maximize w and both with the inequality is less than or equal to w which is 3 y1 plus 5 y2 which is 3 y1 plus 5 y2 subject to with this you have your answer but subject to just take the take x1 into consideration right now so subject to with x1 you your your coefficient is just one so y1 plus with x1 in the second one you have coefficient two so two y2 and what do you have here? Now, what you have here is with x1, you have 15. Okay. So, in this, the inequality will be y1 plus 2y2 corresponding to x1 basically. And your right hand side will be 15. Now, in the dual, your inequality will be greater than or equal to. Similarly, the next condition will be associated to x2. So, 2y1 minus 4y2 is greater than or equal to 12. That's going to be your dual. So, this for this question, our... Um, Options were simply just the objective function given to you, right? So the objective function, clearly you can see that in D, maximize 3y1 plus 5y2, that will be the dual of the given primal, okay? I hope you will be able to, you know, easily find out in case the question is just about, you know, figuring out uh, which is the correct dual of a given primal. I hope you will be able to now easily figure that out.